Good morning. This is Rick Ellis coming from Parkway Church today. We're going to talk about the gift that never quits giving. Kodak cornered this phrase in the early 70s when they invented a camera that developed the film automatically. We're going to read the scriptures. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory. The glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. I knew a young boy one time that was raised up in a home full of turmoil and a lot of drinking and carrying on and the family would get together on weekends instead of going to church they would have parties and play music and drink. When he was nine years old he went to a revival at little church in between Dumas and Watson, Arkansas called Daniel's Chapel and he received Jesus. He grew up trying to do his best to live for God but his upbringing was a hindrance and so his whole Teenage years, he lived riotously, drinking and partying and doing things he knew he shouldn't have do. When he was 19 years old, 1974, he had a really bad accident and he was almost killed. And he realized that he was lost and he needed to repent. And he repented of his sins and tried to do better again, but still he didn't have everything he needed to do what he needed to do. A couple years later, he met a beautiful young lady and they were soon married, and a couple of years into their marriage, they decided that they needed to find a church that they could attend regularly, which he had never really attended the church regularly in his whole life. So they started going to a Pentecostal church there in Faraday, Louisiana, and he knelt in the altar January the 23rd, 1980, and received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. St. John 1, 10 through 12, He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came to his own, his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believed on his name. Without the Holy Ghost, you don't have this power. In John 14 and 26, But the Comforter, which the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. And Acts 1 and 8 said, And ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost comes upon you. You can try to live for God as hard as you want to, but it's, till you receive this power of the Holy Ghost, that's when you really get the fullness of the glory of God. I stand here today. This is the young man right here that I've been talking about, standing here before you today, 42 years later, still living for God, and proof that the Holy Ghost is the gift that continues to give. Thank you. God bless you. I hope you have a Merry Christmas.